Well, uh, I'm asking the Biafrans, where are they now? Where are all our Biafrans that say that Nigeria will burn down? Where are all the Biafrans that say that they are Biafrans that say that, that said they will go to the court yesterday? With two, that, that there will be two million in number. Your head said uh, he will go to Asorok to Asorok and come back with Buhari's head. <laughs> Behead him and destabilize Nigeria. The zoo must fall, right? The zoo must fall. What happened yesterday? Why didn't I see anyone? This thing now is still pointing back to what I have been saying that our problem is our South leaders, Southeast leaders. It's our problem. The, the, the problem we are have, having today is our leaders. First of all, make your state look good before you go out. Before you think of uh, uh, because before you think of what federal government is supposed to do for you. Before you think of we have where federal government is not getting it. Stop insulting anyone. Stop 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 claiming as if you 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 are so righteous and you are so plain and you are so smart, smarter than anyone, any any any, any other person. Now see what, see what, see what we have cost for ourselves. Now everybody is crying. They have killed Nam the Nam the Kano ran away. Um, I saw some videos online. They, they were saying Nam the Kano is hiding because of security reasons. Security reasons where? Is he supposed to hide? Is he not a peaceful protester? Why is he hiding? Why not come out and prove Nigeria wrong? That he's not a violent protester, that he's a peaceful protester. Why is he hiding? Anywhere he is, I, I hope he has come to his senses. You should, should stop cleaning our youths, Bikono. Stop cleaning us. Please. Stop uselessing the lives of our ignorant youths just because they are ignorant. They don't, they don't know their left and right. And you're promising that, that promising them that when Biafra comes, everything will be normal. Everybody will be equal. You will be paid salary even if you are not working. Really, you will be driving. Every everybody will have entitlement to drive to have to own a car, own houses, own properties. Who told you that? Where did you get that from? An evil man will do that for you. Your own brother will do that for you. Has he done that for his family? You that you you that is an evil man. Can you do that for your own brother? He will have a car, he will do this, he will do that, he will do that, if Biafra comes. Where will the Biafra come? Who will rule you? Is it not the same Southeast leader that will rule you? You that don't have any political experience, are you the one that will go, that will go there and rule there and rule Nigeria? I'm laughing at you people. And I'll keep laughing at you people. Keep making mistakes. Keep blaming the government for what they didn't do. Keep blaming the government for your stupidities. Go ahead. The second reason why I'm standing before you to speak for all the governors is to ask all of you is anyone from Edo here? Your governor is here. Is anyone from Adamawa here? Your governor is here. Anyone from Kaduna? Kogi? Plajo? Your governors are all here for one reason only. We are here to support Tony Ngoye to be the next governor and the second youngest governor of this state. Tony is 42. I was minister of Abuja at 43. And you know what I did. If you put Tony in government house in Oka, you will see what he will do in this state. Don't miss the opportunity and elect an old man who is tired like me. Elect a young man that will transform your state. All of us here as governors have the mandate of our people to tell you to come out and vote for Tony Nwoye and the APC on November 18th. They will tell you that Tony Nwoye is a member of a Muslim party. But here we have the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Is he a Muslim? No. Here we have our National Chairman, 
a devout Catholic. Is he a Muslim? No. I'm a Muslim. But why am I here to support Tony to be the governor? Because whether you're a Muslim or Christian or pagan, we want development. We want progress. We want unity in diversity. We want true federalism. We want every state to be governed according to its traditions and rules. We want Nigeria to move forward. The governor of Plateau State, please step forward. This is Governor Simon Lalong. We are all members of the Nigeria Association of Short People. <laughs> but he's a Catholic. You see? You see us, but he is a Catholic. Onwa is your brother, you know. So don't allow anybody to use religion. Shine your eyes and vote for progress, vote for development, vote for integration, vote for inclusion. Anambra is the heart of Igbo land. It should not be played in the third division of the league. It is now in the provincial division. Anambra must join the center. Anambra must lead the rest of Igbo land to the mainstream of Nigerian politics. Shine your eyes. Vote for APC. Vote for Tony Nwoye. And you will see wonders in this state. And all of us will support him to be a strong, successful, and developmental governor. ABC! 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 Anambra Kwenu! Anambra Kwenu! Ibo Kwenu! Ibo Kwenu! Nigeria Kwenu! Nigeria Kwenu! Nigeria Kwenu! Thank you very much, Malam Nasru El Rufai. Well, I told you that a former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria said, good things come in small packages. You already have three examples on the podium already. You have three examples. I'm going to continue counting. I'm going to continue counting until when I bring out the biggest masquerade of them and then you will bear me witness whether I have told you the truth or not but before I do that because after the big masquerade has spoken no other person should speak we have in the program a vote of thanks this vote of thanks will be delivered now before we finally invite the big masquerade it is going to be delivered by no other person than Prince Arthur Eze. My old friend, the former governor of Bende State, Oyegum. Prince Arthur, salute everybody. Uh, <coughs> yeah, welcome. Thank, thank you. I'm here to thank all of you. The vision God brought to you people to see salvation. We are in darkness for a long time. Foolish people who are leading us. But God threw them away now. God brought to the world yeah, to give you light. You have suffered so much under Peter. And, uh, and many of them, all of them. That's why I brought Tony Warrior, said so you're going to be governor. My good friends, like uh, Rivai, the national chairman, all of them supported him. Because Tony had the wisdom. He's a poor man from poor village. He's a poor man from poor village. They said that his people cannot rule. He's a very poor man. I said no. It's not going to happen. They were writing nonsense. They were writing nonsense in newspaper. I didn't even listen to them. 
Now, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, you Igbos. The North made me what I am today. I went to Kano, 1980. I back was governor. He gave me Kano TV, $20 million. I went to Governor La, Plateau State, 1980. He gave me Plateau TV. I went to Bono, Konemarwa. I went to Kazina, John Madaki. I went to Kaduna. I went to, I went to, many born in northern Nigeria. I could not even speak their language. But they accepted me at Ibama and helped me. Then 1991, the manager called me through Professor Jibrim and told me to come. When I tell you, he gave me all the block, I became a producer to help my people, not to help myself. <laughs> yeah, we cannot, we cannot do that in They are very good people. They have the spirit to share. They, 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 they made me what I am. And I must help all of you before we die. If I let him move, let him move. I salute you. Thank 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 you. We are coming to the high point of this event. We are going to bring a man that wherever his step is fit to campaign, we must win that state. We are talking about a man who has brought peace in the All Progressive Congress leadership. We are talking about the chairman of the party that went for election and won in one swap. 24 governors. He won in one swap. 263 members of House of Reps. He won in one swap. 61 senators. A president and a vice president. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the national chairman of our party, His Excellency Chief John Odige Oyegu. He will be accompanied by the national secretary of our party, my Malabunu, the deputy national chairman of our party South, Engineer Shegu Oni, the national treasurer of our party, Alaji Bala Mohammed Kwakwalada, the national woman leader of our party, the national vice chairman North Central of our party, the National Vice Chairman Northeast of our party, the Deputy National Secretary of our party, all the members of NWC are here. Can we give them a big round of applause? You. Is anyone from Edo here? Your governor is here. Is anyone from Adamawa here? Your governor is here. Anyone from Kaduna? Kogi? Plato? Your governors are all here for one reason only. We are here to support Tony Ngoye to be the next governor and the second youngest governor of this day. Tony is 42. I was minister of Abuja at 43. And you know what I did. If you put Tony in government house in Oka, you will see what he will do in this state. Don't miss the opportunity. I elect an old man who is tired like me. Elect a young man that will transform your state. All of us here as governors have the mandate of our people to tell you to come out and vote for Tony Nwoye and the APC on November 18th. They will tell you that Tony Nwoye is a member of a Muslim party. But here we have the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Is he a Muslim? No. Here we have our national chairman, a devout Catholic. Is he a Muslim? No. I'm a Muslim, but why am I here to support Tony to be the governor? Because whether you're a Muslim or Christian or pagan, 
We want development. We want progress. We want unity in diversity. We want true federalism. We want every state to be governed according to its traditions and rules. We want Nigeria to move forward. The governor of Plateau State, please step forward. This is Governor Simon Lalong. We are all members of the Nigerian Association of Short People. <laughs> but he's a Catholic. You see? You see us? But he's a Catholic. On why is your brother, you know. So don't allow anybody to use religion. Shine your eyes and vote for progress, vote for development, vote for integration, vote for inclusion. Anambra is the heart of Igbo land. Shine your eyes, vote for APC, vote for Tony Nwoye, and you will see wonders in this state, and all of us will support him to be a strong, successful, and developmental governor. ABC! 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 Anamra Kwenu! Anamra Kwenu! Ibo Kwenu! Ibo Kwenu! Nigeria Kwenu! Nigeria Kwenu! Nigeria Kwenu! Thank you very much, Malam Nasru El Rufai. Well, I told you that a former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria said, good things come in small packages. You already have three examples on the podium already. You have three examples. I'm going to continue counting. I'm going to continue counting until when I bring out the biggest masquerade of them and then you will bear me witness whether I have told you the truth or not. But before I do that, because after the big masquerade has spoken, no other person should speak. We have in the program a vote of thanks. This vote of thanks will be delivered now before we finally invite the big masquerade. It is going to be delivered by no other person than Prince Arthur Eze. My old friend, the former governor of Bende State, Oyegum, Prince Alfred, salute everybody. Uh, yeah, welcome. Thank you, thank you. I'm here to thank all of you. The vision God brought to you people to see salvation. We were in darkness for a long time. Foolish people who are leading us. But God threw them away now. God brought to the world here to give you light. He has suffered so much under Peter. And uh, many of them, all of them. That's why I brought Tony Warrior, so you're going to be governor. My good friends, like Henry uh, Five, the national chairman, all of them supported him. Because Tony had the wisdom. He's a poor man from poor. For your own brother. He will have a guy, he will do this, he will do that, he will do that. If Biafra comes. Where will the Biafra come? Who will rule you? Is it not the same Southeast leader that will rule you? You that don't have any political experience, are you the one that will go that will go there and rule there and rule Nigeria? I'm laughing at you people. And I'll keep laughing at you people. Keep making mistakes. Keep blaming the government for what they didn't do. Keep blaming the government for your stupidities. Go ahead. The second reason why I'm standing before you to speak for all the governors is to ask all of you. Is anyone from Edo here? Your governor is here. Is anyone from Adamawa here? Your governor is here. 
Anyone from Kaduna? Kogi? Plato? Your governors are all here for one reason only. We are here to support Tony Ngoye to be the next governor and the second youngest governor of this state. Tony is 42. I was minister of Abuja at 43. And you know what I did. If you put Tony in government house in Oka, you will see what he will do in this state. Don't miss the opportunity. I elect an old man who is tired like me. Elect a young man that will transform your state. All of us here as governors have the mandate of our people to tell you to come out and vote for Tony Nwoye and the APC on November 18th. They will tell you that Tony Nwoye is a member of a Muslim party. But here we have the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Is he a Muslim? No. Here we have our National Chairman, a devout Catholic. Is he a Muslim? No. I'm a Muslim, but why am I here to support Tony to be the governor? Because whether you're a Muslim or Christian or pagan, we want development. We want progress. We want unity in diversity. We want true federalism. We want every state to be governed according to its traditions and rules. We want Nigeria to move forward. The governor of Plateau State, please step forward. This is Governor Simon Lalong. 